Hallelujah. I bring you greetings this beautiful Wednesday morning. God bless you. Thank you for all the support and all the encouragement. God bless you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word. We give you praise. We give you honor. Thank you for this beautiful morning. We are so grateful for what you are doing in our lives and through our lives. Thank you for an amazing time of fellowship in your presence this morning. An encounter with Jesus changes every situation. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So today we'll be looking at something in the Bible. The Lord wants to speak to our hearts and He wants to caution us so that we can be more closer and be in more intimate relationship with our Maker, with Him. In the book of Jeremiah, chapter 7, verse 7, I read, it says, Thank you, Jeremiah chapter 7. I'll just read verse 3. Thus said the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, amend your ways and your doings, and I will cause you to dwell in this place. A very short and important scripture. The Lord here is cautioning us to amend our ways and our doings, and He will cause us to dwell in that place, that place which He has promised us. Now, this is the word of the Lord to us today to checkmate our lives. Maybe that's why that blessings have not entered your hand. That is why that thing which you are waiting upon the Lord for has not really manifested. Are there some kind of things you are doing that is displeasing to the Lord? It might not be even seen, but it might be a weight that is weighing you down and hindering you from assessing what God has in store for me and for you and hindering you from entering your rebel boat. Amend your ways and your doings. What is that thing you are doing that is displeasing your maker, that is displeasing the father? Amend your ways. This is the word of the Lord. He said, when we thoroughly amend our ways, he will cause us to dwell in this place. That place which he has prepared for us. Our God is a holy God. That is what we must understand. And he cautioned us that because he's holy, we should also be holy. He is our father and he has given us sufficient grace sufficient empowerment sufficient tools that we need to run this race i don't know the activity or lifestyle you may be living that is displeasing god this is a moment of surrender this is the moment of amendment this is the moment where we lay our burdens before the lord where you lay those weights of sin of distractions before the Lord. All those things that are hindering fellowship between you and God. Hindering intimacy between you and God. It might be friends or relative. It might be a lifestyle. It might be an evil habit or a secret sin. People don't know about it but God knows. This is why you need to lay it before Him and tell Him to help you and let the Holy Spirit brood upon your life and there will be a transformation for you in the name of Jesus. As men that are mending their ways and repenting and forsaking their evil ways. They want a closer walk with you, God. Father, let your outstretched hand come upon them and transform their life for good in the name of Jesus. You are in the business of saving souls, redeeming the people. That is what you died for. These are your people, the people you died for. We are the ones you died for. Help us, oh God. In Jesus' powerful name, we pray. Please, if this message has blessed you, please remember to share it to your loved ones your family and friend. God bless you. See you tomorrow. Bye.